And next, we have our relationship expert, Ndamilola Oluwatoyinbo. He's a dynamic speaker, an inspirational writer, and a trainer. Now, he's going to be talking to us this morning about investing time and interests uh, in your partner, which is really, really important. Let's take a look. Hey, people, how are you doing today? So one of the things that I want to talk about is a simple secret that all of us can use to enrich our relationships and to enhance the quality of our uh, connection points with our spouses, with husbands and wives and people that we're sold out to on an intimate and affectionate basis. So one major thing is, can you find a way to become increasingly interested in your husband or your wife? I know that many times, especially when we're going through pressure, disillusion, abandonment, stress, um, uncertainty, fear, doubts, cares, we just want to curl in, we want to hold back, we want to sort ourselves out. But one of the secrets of a thriving, vibrant, growing relationship is that you are deliberate about participating in that other person's life. So for example, if you're married to somebody that loves soccer, you, this person is just really sold out to football, you want to begin to find ways to contribute to the conversation. You don't want to be that person who's always ignorant whenever there is any kind of discussion about football. Or if you're married to somebody who loves to watch soap opera on television or on some other digital platform, can you just find a way to do that? So one of the things that my wife and I do, I don't, funny enough, I'm, <laughs> it, loving football is not always a male thing. So I don't love football. I don't have a passion for football. Even though I extract lessons from it, I see that as a metaphor for life, but not a point of obsession. Um, so that's not my thing, if you will, but intellectual conversations, my thing, creating content and products, my thing, loving people, adding value to people, my thing. My wife shares those values as well, but she also likes watching motion pictures or movies or soap opera, not obsessively, but as often as her busy schedule gives her the time. So one of the things I've learned to do over the years is to increasingly chunk out time so like almost every day or every other day every day or every other day we find time together to sit on the couch and we watch something together another thing that we do is that if i find a piece of entertaining content on social media i send it directly to her and she does that as well so be interested in your husband be interested in your wife and your spouse why because the more you're interested in what they are interested in, the more interesting you will be to them. The more you're interested in what they are interested in, the more interesting you will be to them. If you're attracted to what they're attracted to, they will find you more attractive. So keep those things in mind, and I hope that this is a very powerful lesson that you're not only going to um, hold in your heart, but you actually externalize in your actions and in your words. Remain committed, remain connected, remain curious, and remain interested in what your significant other is interested in. I believe this helps.